Hello everybody, welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation. This is Dice Legacy, more specifically the Corrupted Fates DLC for Dice Legacy. This game is a roguelike dice-based city builder survival game. I played this about six months ago or so and I really enjoyed it. But at the end of the series, I said that I couldn't wait to come back to it when there's been more replayability added, see what things have changed, everything. This is the perfect time. There, there have been like three or four pretty major updates since I last played, but this is a large scale DLC that adds a new ruler, game mode, mechanics, and more. But alas, it's been so long since we have last played. Ah, here we go. Here is one of the big things. An enhanced experience with new content and mechanisms. This is the campaign that we're going to be doing here as part of the DLC. Lead your people to the discovery of an uncharted continent. Learn the truth and break free of the chains of fate. Forging a realm. Meet the demands of people to gain their trust. The downfall. All city is under siege. The prophecy was true and the council sees you... This Okay, sees in you the solution. You know... I, I'm not entirely sure here. Probably should start with this first one, right? And we'll just go for the, the, uh, the standard scenario here. Oh... Hello, new ruler, advisor to the king and charismatic representative of the council. So entangled in his affairs, his absence from it is imag unimaginable. <laughs> in fact, nobody seems to remember a time before his arrival. Okay, so he has the ability to sacrifice a dice to obtain resources. Gotcha. There's also a new, um, new pause system. Dice can be rolled and manipulated while the game is paused. Uh, or, or what did I say? New pause system. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Classic... Pause is available, but dice can't be manipulated while it's paused, or there is no pause the way the game was envisioned. This is, you know, hey, I gotta say, I uh, I appreciate that that's there. Also, the fact that we can put on the, tutor the tutorial. For the sake of this video, if we play more, maybe we'll turn that back off to, um, to classic or whatever, but that's very cool. I, I greatly appreciate that that is an option for those that want it. Memories are a, a feature that have been added that I don't know what they are as well. That was in one of the free updates, I believe. But alas, alas, in we shall go. I'm, I'm very excited to check this out again. I really did like this game quite a bit. Destiny bit prudence. <laughs> prudence. Oh, gosh. Wait, are we starting like... No, okay. I was going to say, are we starting on the corrupted side? It looked darker. But alas, alas, in we go. Yes, I know. I say alas a lot. But less. God, just... It's so nice to look at, man. It's just so nice to look at. But I'm happy we're going to get the tutorials here as well. Uh, alt, left click. We can lock a die. We can roll our die. We can grab and place the die. First steps. What you got here? Dice are your workers. Again, we're, we're going to go over this again. It's been six months. Uh, and there's a good chance that you maybe didn't see those videos. And I don't want to make it so you have to watch those videos to know what's going on. So, dice your worker. Each die belongs to a dice class indicated by its color. The upward face of a die indicates the action it can perform. Press spacebar to roll all dice in the pool. Rerolling a die consumes its durability. If the durability of the die falls to zero, the die will perish. They basically, yeah, they, they represent a civilian, more or less. Uh, press Alt and left mouse click to lock a die, which will make it so it cannot roll. Okay, so how how do we pause again? What's the hotkey for pause? Hotkey for pause is one. So we can actually do stuff while it is paused. I, I do feel like that one change will make it very accessible for lots of people, but okay. What do we want to do here? We want to probably get some resources. I think that'll be a good idea. It's probably telling us like, here you go. Make sure you do all these things we locked. I'm going to press roll. Oh, it won't let me re-roll the die. Fine. What do we not want? What symbol is not needed here? Okay, there we go. We've rolled the die, and now we can grab and place a die. So, we got this face right here. We got a cultist die. This is a, yeah, this is straight up just a new, a new class, a new type of die entirely. I don't know what that sword is all about. Uh, but we can take this, and we can put it anywhere. Whoop. I don't want all of them. Oh, wait. Oh, is it grabbing a hole? Shift and grab to grab all of them. Oh, okay. We can drop that right in there. You see it has the worker tile face. We can put it on the worker tile spot there. We can do that for all of these. That's going to be generating us a little bit of wood. This can generate us some food. 
And up here, we can generate some stone. We'll do that for now. Do we want to construct the building? Objective, build a house. Produces new peasant die. Let's put that bad boy... We kind of want to buy stuff, sort of, if I remember correctly. Because we'll, we'll need to uh, heat the spaces up when it gets to be winter. Use the build menu to construct new buildings. Buildings have different requirements. Yes, and resources to be built and must be built within the player's territory. Some buildings require to be unlocked through the tech tree before they can be built. Buildings can be demolished to recover some of the resources used in their construction. Buildings... Buildings who catch fire or go on strike due to various circumstances. Fair, fair, fair. All right, but I d yeah, that's nice. We could just drag everything, pause, settle everything, move on. So we need to put two builder dies here, basically. I'll do a little reroll, see what we get. Uh, you don't want to really uh, reroll too wildly here. You can actually speed things up probably until these are done. Speed it on up. And then now that we got them back, we will have to re-rule them if we want to use them again. Locations. Locations are generated at the start of each game. They are totally randomized. Dice can be employed inside a location to gather resources, but it consumes durability of the location. So when the durability of a location reaches zero, the location is destroyed. So basically, everything is limited. Your die is limited uh, until you heal it up with food. We can go and put somebody in the cookhouse. Uh, with a little bit of food by just dragging a little bit of our food. We ha You see, we have five up here. Um, a die here, a food here, and then they will restore durability. I, I don't remember if it's fully or if it's just like half. I think it's just like half-ish or quite a bit. Uh, but generally, you want to be efficient with it. We don't really have any use for swords, though, right now. Like, they're really not going to be doing anything for us. Happily, I will go and drop that in there. Do we have anything we need to explore with? I don't think so right now. I'm currently trying to just build this house. I would love to get that out of the way. There we go. All right, salvage. We could salvage some wood, salvage some food. I mean, let's just salvage some uh, some some food there. What do we got? All right. We got we got plenty though. We got plenty for now. House is getting built here. Do a little roll. Do we have anything else we want to build right now that we can build? Cookhouse and District Hall. Expand your territory and increases efficiency nearby. Can be upgraded into a class District Hall. I would like to do this. Because this... You see that little uh, aura up here? Right here? That's what it means by expanding our territory. All of those tiles... Boop, 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 are going to be claimed. So we'll go... Uh, on this here first you can interact with only locations and buildings that are within your territory it's marked by that fence there to do so uh, you can expand your territory with the district college to do so you can place it at the edge of your territory and complete the expand territory recipe efficiency is what determines how fast a building or location operates district halls provide an efficiency bonus to every building and location nearby your town hall pro also provides efficiency bonus your town hall also provides efficiency bonus nearby so basically, this is going to be providing a little bit of efficiency bonus when we get it built here. Got a little bit to juggle for now. You know, let's get a little bit more wood. Slot types. Locations and buildings can have different requirements in terms of resources, dice, faces, and classes. Also, the results provided by a location can be influenced by power of a face die employed. So this, for example, only accepts that face. That accepts this face, but it has the X in the bottom. That means that if you have a higher number on the die, it'll be more effective. You can buff up your die with certain other buildings in the future. So, like, you could have plus four. So a, uh, a, a die face that has this and one is a lot less effective than a die face that has this and, like, a four in the bottom right or a three or something. This only can accept a peasant class. Basically, it has to match the color of the die. Um... And basically, you know, the rest is... I think it's pretty self-explanatory. This accepts any face. Uh, any face and any class. This is just what resource you need to drag from over here. Relatively straightforward on those. Alright, so we could make a new baby. But I'm going to wait until... Uh, basically, I'm going to wait until I get a die face that is useless to me. Like a currently a sword or an explorer. 
Yeah, we'll drop that in there. If we get two, they will perform an alchemic ritual to make a new child. You heard it was the stork. You were wrong. It's alchemy. All right, what the hell is this used for? What the hell is that even used for? I'm assuming it's going to be to activate our ability, which I don't remember how to... Wager ability. If we roll... F okay, if we roll four of those, and we can do that by locking them. Basically, if we have four of those in our pool face up at the same time, heals all of your corrupted dice in the pool. Okay. Hmm. So I think that maybe is the only benefit we have right now. Ritual. Oh, look at this. There's a whole new uh there's a whole new set of stuff to work with. So we don't have the materials for these, but we do have the ability to make them. Sacrifice a die to obtain resources. <laughs> I I kind of wanna I'm a little bit of a degenerate though. So but I, yep, I want that. We'll just make a bunch of babies and continue to sacrifice them. You know, normal, well-adjusted human activity. Let's build. All right, so we're going to need what else? We're going to need herbs. I don't know how to... Actually, can we get that from here? No. There's iron there. I think we want iron for, for that. I see no herbs unless this is maybe. Maybe this is an herb spot. Could be, could be. There we go. Make a babby. Okay, so now I think we are looking for... Yeah, we're looking for an ex a, a explore face. Because that actually will be used to um, expand the turf. And I think whatever explore face we put on it claims the territory. In a way. Uh, but I don't know that it matters. Oh, that's right. The cultists are a whole new class, so they have like their own kind of effect. If they're happy or not. Um, we have to do our objective in the upper left, too. They're just so small. I forgot about that. I'm working on this bottom one right now. Effect when pleased. You will not succumb to madness. Hmm. Effect when angry, madness rises over time. All right. I'm not entirely sure uh, what madness is, but okay. Okay, okay. Sword, don't know what to do with that right now. So expand your ter territory, build a wheat farm. I will happily. I'll put that maybe like here. Okay, built. Build a mill. Eight wood, four stone. We're missing a decent amount of both of those for now. Man. One of your dice has low durability. I'm aware. Durability of a die falls below zero. They will perish. Yeah, they can be restored in the cookhouse. That I did mention that already. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. All right. You know what? Fine. Lesson learned. Halt operations. Press the right mouse button on a location or building to halt on all ongoing operations and take back dice and resources. Oh. That's actually kind of nice. It's nice that that's an option. All right, speed things up for a sec. Reroll. Pause. I don't really need to build or die. Okay, so how much? We, we definitely need some wood still. Sure, sure. These are not that useful yet. Like, we're going to need something to do with them. Call this outpost... Allows cultist dice to sacrifice nearby encampments. Uh, seems interesting. Cradle of Rebirth. Sacrifices a die to transfer a face to all corrupted faces. Transfer a face to all corrupted faces of another die. What the hell? Okay. Sacrifices a die to increase the happiness of all other dice classes. Hey, okay. Yeah, that's, I, I'd love to do something with that. But as we, um, 
Okay, hold on. Happiness. The happiness of a dice class has just changed. Probably because the uh, the happiness of these peasants... The peasant class? Is that what it is? I shouldn't say that until I get it. So, uh, your actions can affect the happiness of dice classes in various ways. When a dice class is pleased, it will provide a powerful positive effect. When it's angry, it will provide a dangerous negative effect. We did go over that briefly. Uh, many actions can lower or increase the happiness of a dice class, such as obtaining or losing dice, passing or refusing policies, which we'll see soon, establishing class district halls, or constructing and losing buildings within a class district and more. If too many dice become unhappy, a riot could start. A dice class will continue to exist as long as at least one face belonging to that class is in play. So basically, yeah, okay, you obtained a peasant die, sure, sure, sure. Uh, when they are happy, we get extra res we gather extra resources. When they're angry, they might set my buildings on fire. <laughs> so, yeah, there's that. You know what? I want the explore face. One of these days. We gotta get an explore face. Come on. Alright, well, I'm definitely taking that. Are you for real? Are you for real? There's one. Okay. Let's explore that up. Do this, this. Make speed going. Going normal again here. Alright. You'll restore. Do a re-roll. Get my, myself a little bit more wood. Why not? Okay. But we can also put in uh, the gears here to get a little bit of wheat. We got the stuff to build a mill yet? We do. We found an encampment. That's good news for me. You can sometimes find encampments with which you can establish relationships. Interacting with an encampment will alter your relationship level with it in various ways. A good relationship will bring ever-growing benefits. A hostile relationship will bring troubles for your kingdom. You can interact with encampments by building different outposts in the range. The possible interactions with the encampments will change based off the outposts you build. Okay. So I will try and sacrifice them because it sounds, uh, it sounds fun. <laughs> so we need iron. We need iron to do so, and iron can be uh, received from here. So we'll go for that. All right. Getting kind of low. Bang, bang. Expand territory. If we had gold, we don't have any gold. Don't really need to worry about that right now. You know what? You go in here. Just make me happy. Oh, you son of a gun. Okay, this is this is gonna be your last job. It'd be your last gig. Okay, we gotta be careful so as not to uh, ditch somebody. Build, build, sacrifice, sacrifice. Why is everything? Why is the only thing you want to do sacrifice things, Jimmy? Come on. I should probably just lock them at this point. Oh, here's herbs. Um, okay. We can do another one here. It's a little sketchy. We got one iron. Okay, one more iron and we're good on that. Put this in here. Heal you up. Do a little re-roll. Should probably get the, the herbs. Get some of those. That was for something. I can't remember what exactly. There we go. That'll get a little bit build in there. Okay. All right. Sacrifice nearby encampments. Too close to foreign structures. Needs encampment or hostile location in range. Is this not an encampment? Too close. Too far. Too close to far. Too close to far. All right, fine. We'll make ourselves another district hall first, I guess. What else got? Come on. Good worker cultist? Nope. All right, get a little bit of wheat. Okay. Uh, more wood. More wood. Do we have enough to make a town hall now? District hall? We do indeed. 
it's not the most effective, but in fact, it's like, it's pretty ineffective, but boy, it's, unless I want to, I'm doing it. I'm doing, I, what can I say? I just want to sacrifice another camp. That sounds, I know what that makes me sound like, and I don't care. I just want to sacrifice them, mom. Okay, what, we're going to, oops, we're going to lock that for later. Can you guys build? You can. It's just not very likely. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. We're out of food. Okay. Well, that's rough. Uh, and it's understandable, too. We'll lock that. Uh, actually, you know what? We'll lock this one, and then we'll use this to roll around. We'll get a little bit more food here. Yeah, these die. They're, they're not good yet. They're not good yet. I am not saying they'll never be good, but they're not good yet. Is there like a hunting camp? Yeah. All right. We'll be, we'll be fine. So we can get food from that. I'll leave that there for now. Just go boop, 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 boop. Pause. Okay, get the food going in there. Why? I don't really know, I guess. More. What else do we need? Maybe I'll just hold on to this. Be very, uh, very, very, very careful for now. Do we need this? We'll lock that up. It's getting colder. Winter is approaching. Soon our fields will be frozen and venturing into the wildlands will be too dangerous. We need to make sure we have enough wood to burn in our steam generators. We must survive. Understood. All right, fine. We'll make all of the stinking stuff we need to make. Uh, we need a steam generator, which does take, unfortunately, oh, too close to four structures. It's We'll build this right here. That's why I built everything so clumped up. We're going to need some stinking workers. Boom, bang. Okay, uh, that's fine. We need we need a lot of wood because we'll need to burn it for the winter. We'll do the stuff that we need to do. I can't upgrade this to a class hall uh, because we're going to need gold. And we just don't have that yet. We'll just have to get lucky. This I'm, I'm working on. Uh, restoring everybody in the mill, I'll do that as well uh, when I get the chance. Like, we just don't have the stuff for it yet. Simple as that. We're working on it. We're working on it. Because I know there's some people who are like, Why isn't he doing the checklist right now? Why isn't he doing the checklist right now? It's because I want to murder people, okay? I want to do murder. Murder's cooler than checklists. You can't disagree. Um, oh boy, so we'll start working on that. We probably want to get a little bit more food so as not to big, become big dead. Okay, just looking for a hammer there. Okay, finally. Actually, that's what I meant. Yeah, I don't want to waste this die by re-rolling it, so we will just go for more wood for now, because quite honestly, it's just very useful. Actually, I'm going to take that back and I'm going to put it on this one. Looking for a hammer. There we go. Alright, we need stone for whatever the heck. Oh, look at that. We got a, we got a, a little bit of that. Four stone. We're, we're getting close. Getting close to building that over there. Running low on food. Make sure we keep on going for that. When we get this going cleanly, the wheat farm will uh, will be generating a lot more food. Lock that. Boy, howdy, these are not that efficient for us. I was going to say, did we not get the food right there? Okay, good. Drop this up in there. Oops. Not yet. As soon as it turns into winter, we're going to need to turn on this generator to generate some heat for us. 
Uh, that's what I'm waiting on there. Okay, I think we got... We're one away from getting a, enough stone here. I will put the one hammer on that. You just go in. You get me more wood. We're going to need it for the winter, more or less. Yeah, you you stay there. Don't worry. We'll, we'll do some murder soon. Don't worry, sweetie. Oh, here we go. <laughs> the council. You better believe I'm going to tunnel vision. Go and play with the cultists, the new cultist dice. Uh, we basically, we have to choose an active policy to, to go for. Obscure Doctrine. Newly obtained cultist dice will now start with two swords. Two, or a sword with times two. A sword. Uh, the, whatever. The worker tile with times two. Build times two. A cultist one times two. And a cultist one. So we're going to we're gonna do that because I also just want to make them happy because it sounds funny. Uh, but basically, yeah. Every season, call, the council reunites and will ask you to enact a policy. Different dice class will propose different policies. Generally, they'll affect like that class or represent that class pretty well. Uh, proving a policy proposed by a dice class will increase its happiness, but will lower the happiness of every other one that you rejected. Some are rarer than others and are marked with a wax seal. Choosing to not approve a policy will not have any effect on happiness of any of the dice classes. One moment here. Sorry about that. Okay. Winter has fallen. All right. So now any die... Currently, what is it at? Yeah, it's currently any die used outside of the heat radius of a steam generator has a 5% chance to become frozen making them more or less unusable unless we fulfill a certain specific requirement uh, with buildings that we don't have built yet. Uh, but basically, we're going to want to do most of our work within this radius right here. That's going to be generally the thing. So we'll have to keep that in mind. That being said, we can probably risk the biscuit for a little bit here, and it's not going to be that big of a deal. Like, now is the time to do things outside of the radius because it's only a 5% chance. Oh, God, I really should have built that up one higher. Yeah, that's this is just that I said that already. We could power this on. It's not that incredibly relevant right now. One build. Yes, sir. Is that in my radius? It is. Let's go for it. Let's start powering it on. It takes three wood and it powers it on for a little while. Oh, that's right. This is not even usable in the winter. <laughs> it's not even usable in the winter. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, we are a little bit outside the radius on this one, but as soon as this gets built, we should hopefully be able to put a, uh, a steam generator in a spot that's going to uh, reach some of this other stuff. Can we do the... Can we build a murder shed? Nope. We're going to need some iron for that. Gonna re roll that at this point. Save it. Yeah, we're gonna save we're just gonna save all of those. And you know what? No, we're not gonna feed you. We're not gonna feed you. That's outside the radius. It's a little risky. Looking for an explorer. I'm gonna lock that. There's the explorer. It's inside the radius. It's gonna be totally fine. Got that back. Let's go for another uh, another one. Get even more. We need enough stuff to make our murder shed. We have food. Oh, wait. Oh, I thought that timer was for the food as well. Oops. Oop. Explore. You know what? I'll risk it. You warm up. Keep the build here. All right. Here we go. Bigger radius. I'm so confused. This is an encampment, isn't it? Do we have to... Do we have to explore it first? Encampment or hostile location in range? I can't put it anywhere. Too close to hostile. Too close to hostile. Needs hostile. So I guess maybe we have to explore it first. So let's risk it, I guess. 
Maybe we need to make contact. We can't we can't just sacrifice complete strangers. We have to sacrifice our acquaintances. Excuse me. All right, we're running at the risk of uh, a couple things being froze, but that's just that's okay for right now. Interesting discovery. We encountered a small camp and the population is wearing worn out yet fancy clothes. They seem to possess lots of goods. Our explorer says the trading the trading with them could be possible. One of your dice is frozen. All right, frozen dice cannot be rolled or employed. They can be healed in a temple or a tavern, or it will unfreeze on its own at the beginning of summer. So let's talk about it. And it's a very healthy die, too, so that's going to be kind of rough. Aha! Now I can do it. And it's fine if that guy gets uh, gets caught there. So if we make a tavern, it's not necessarily going to be that big of a like, benefit right now. We need to make a lot of stuff to, to get that working. Uh... Tavern heals a frozen die using ale. We need to make a uh, we need to make ale first, and to do so we need wheat. We need to basically make wheat, and then we need to make a uh, a brewery, and then we need to make a tavern. So it's kind of out of the question for this moment. Um, but the the mill will have it. We'll try and have it done for the uh, for summer. It's really not going to be that big of a deal though. I just want to sacrifice some guys. Okay. So, so we need a sword and sacrifice. Okay, we need to roll a certain amount of swords now. Now I actually want them. One. One little murder. How much wood do we have? Uh, a little sketchy. Make sure we get some more... Ancient ruins. There appear to be the ruins of an old laboratory now overrun by nature. The wood is rotten. The roof is about to collapse. Perhaps something valuable lies inside. Just go with, go in. We're trying to move away the wooden beam. It creaks, suddenly snaps. The wooden frame holding the building together it was too old and deteriorated. Making it out of here won't be easy. Okay, one die is wounded. Oh, it's got a new visual to it. We'll perish if it's wounded again. It's fine. It's not that big of a deal, really. If they get wounded a second time, they will die. We can heal them in a temple or apothecary. Uh, it's not too big of a deal for the moment. Part of me wants to make a... Ah, um, eh, we can't really. We could wait and we could make a cookhouse within this radius. I don't know how much longer winter's really going to be here. But we could really genuinely just wait it out. <laughs> if we wanted to, we could. And there's not... Ooh, ooh. Not much of a penalty to that idea at the moment. Oh, none of this is... None of this is... None of that's what I want right now. You suck, man. Speed it up. We could sacrifice this guy just for fun. Like a true cultist. Cultist man. But yeah, nothing's really stopping us at this current moment from just kind of speeding up through the winter. We could get these back. We could try and use them more effectively. Uh, but right now, there's a 30% chance that of using any die will freeze it at the moment. So it's kind of just not a good idea. One moment. All right. Now we're... Uh, what are we at? We're at 15%. You know what? With that, it's fine. And also, they get complete... Like, they're completely fine at the end of... Um, end of summer, anywho. Like, when, it, when everything thaws out, the die is going to thaw, thaw out, too. Oh, my God. I shouldn't have done that. That was risky. But let's get a little bit of food back for the time being. Yes, please. Give me that food back. And we're going to get going on uh, the, the boring old regular objectives, the non-murder objectives, very soon. But the second I see two swords, I'm I'm sacrificing you to the, you know... <laughs> the deity of my choice. Okay. We're getting super close to the point where we can can do this. Do we have uh, how much wood? Three? Not that much. Let's get a little bit more wood so that when that pops, we're good. Winter's passed. Snow is gone. The weather's getting warm again. We made it through our first winter. Now it is time to move forward and discover what lies ahead. Bing. Okay. Every time a face is corrupted, obtain a random resource. I will do it just because I love the cultists. 
I, I'm going to... I mean, I don't know if I love the cult. I don't know if they're very good, really. But I'm going to uh, say yes, because they're new. They're the new die. Okay. They're the new die on the block. We're going to need some actual food to make this work. So three, two, one. Good. Rolly. Now let's just get more food, then. We'll wait until the die comes back into our hand for now. Sure. Oh, you son of a gun. There's the, there it is. All right, here we go. Let's take him over. That takes a lot of resources. I hope we get something good. Burn and pillage. As we set flame to their tents, some merchants took all the precious goods they could and fled. They have enough wealth to raise a modest band of re mercenaries from another camp. They won't let go of their possessions that easily. What did I get? Mercenaries encampment. Okay, so we have to... So they got rid of... Okay, they were able to run for a little bit. So we'll have to take down these now. Three fights, sacrifice. All right, we'll go for that. Sure. Make sure we get some food. Oh, so you're wounded. We got the one wounded. I'm, I'm willing to risk it. Oh, this is... That's not good on that. Um, sure. We have almost... I mean, we set up the field there. Drop, drop. Roll. Sword. Good. Fine. We'll get going on that. Speed up a little bit. This is going to need to go in here if we have the food. Dimlet scream men with torches. We must stop them from setting fire to the settlement. Okay. So here we go. We got to take, uh, take you... Put them in here so they do not do uh, do a murder upon our camp. I don't know what we could have what what could have possibly set them off. What would have made them angry at me? I don't get it at all. Yeah. So they've wounded to die. This is, it seems like a wild plan. What I'm doing that doesn't seem too maybe the most effective. I'll take that back. I'll get you. Just in case. We're looking for three on that. We have the food for this. Not yet. We should in like... Yeah. Four, three, two, one. Bang, bang. All right. This should not be dangerous. <laughs> uh, all right. Also, what are we at as far as this? Okay. We're very close. If you want to see me build the normal stuff... Like the plain old, regular old building path. Go watch my last series. We absolutely ripped this game into smithereens brutally. Uh, as far we really did a great, like, it was pretty, we, we did a great job. <laughs> it, even on some of the ch higher challenge modes. This is me wanting to show off what can we do with the cultists. Some pale slender figures appear in the mist. They move quickly through the shadows and are approaching our supplies. We must stop them from stealing our resources. That's not great. I don't actually have a good solution to that. Man. How dare you. Uh... So we're going to get enough wood. What else should we get right now? More food from there. Boop. I mean, food can't go wrong there. Oh, this is so dangerous. This is dangerous. Somebody's going to come back dead. And I'm here for it. That's fine. We did it. The, pe the peasant did die, but it's okay. We could just make more. In fact, we probably should be making more, like, innately. Like, that's just not a bad idea to do in general. All right, what kind of resources did we even get? 
or do we know do we only get resources when we kill all of them I'm not sure but we're doing we're doing a little bit of murder I do I do a little murder can convert all peasants into cultists what, what would that do for us uh it feels a little wild what would we lose the ability to do farm explore that seems seems problematic that <laughs> seems seems like not a good call all right so we need how much gold do we have we have the two gold we can make this a cultist district let's do it welcome to the cultist district jerk you're in for a bad time I found an occultist district. <laughs> I don't know why. Mostly just because I want to. Um, more or less, it helps with the uh, the policies and it helps keep them happy. All right, Mill. Okay, here's the thing. Do I want to do that or do I want to just make a bunch of cultists and burn out and die in a big fiery? Uh, cataclysmic event of murder that seems a little bit more fun does it not also we have not played that way before because it has not been an option how are we going to get enough food do we get food from pillaging i'm going to put this over here in range of that seems like a good call to me just because when the winter comes all right there's someone's angry uh okay good oh no that's not good that's not great just save the die yeah we need to <laughs> the fact that they were able to run away i was not expecting that i mean it makes sense but also i wasn't expecting it so there's this we want the herbs as well. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. We just need so much stuff. It's not easy to be a cultist here, man. It's not easy to be a cultist in current year. Okay. Get a little bit more food here. Get a little bit more. Do we, are we going to get the herbs we need? We are. Get more stone then. Okay. We're in there. Double sword. Rescue, big boy. You can do it. There. One final job. What do we got for wood? Food, good. All right. One more we can make... Uh, or When those are done, we can make the mausoleum instead. We can neglect to do uh, the sensible thing. Could also make a void well soon if we get enough iron. Iron. Oh my god. Oh, oh no. You know what? Go a hero. Could we could just let them burn us down, I guess. I shouldn't. It's a bad idea. Okay, I'll... I'll tell you what. Who needs peasants? I mean, I do. Oh, we got really lucky there. Okay. How are we doing for food? Not very good. Not very good. It's almost like... Typically, you're going to want to go for farming. Typically. Logically. One would think. But... Not I. Not I. Here we go. Salvage for goods. If you must give your life, you must give your life. It is okay. That's a sacrifice I'm willing to take. Honestly, it's, at this point, it's going to be helpful because then they'll stop raiding us. Nice. 
What did I get? I got ale? Is that it? What did I get? I got a gold, an ale? It's like... Got a little bit of stuff. Burn and pillage achievement. What's that about? Got completely destroyed encampment. Let's go. Okay, we can't make both of these right now. Spear it well. Make sure we do that. All right, what do we got for food? Not a lot. So let's get this going there. Lock that. Get this one going there. Lock that. Are all the... No, well, we don't need to lock that. Okay, good, 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 good. You stay. Stay. Is there any more food that we're worried about? We're also worried about... Uh, or not worried, but I'd like to get more stones so we can... Commence the, uh, the full process. Okay, so without peasants, we can't make babbies. Hmm. Do we just make, uh, do we keep two peasants that are strictly here? Oh, God, that's terrifying. That's a terrifying thought. Do we keep literally just two peasants strictly for this? I know there's an upgrade somewhere down the line in the, the tech tree that we would need to do, like, uh, God, what is it? Manipulation knowledge extractor. Wait, what the heck? Produces knowledge by corrupting a die? This is new. Okay. And what's your deal? Heals all corrupted dice in the pool. All right. That seems kind of exciting. That actually seems more pressing. Then we can unlock, like, the tech tree stuff. God. Uh, what do we got for food? Is this built yet? Yeah, this is built over here. That one's locked. Good. Build. Build the thing that you will inevitably be. Oh, sacrifice to. But it's busy making babies. Give me sword, just give me one. You've got to be kidding me, man! You've got to be kidding me. Just one sword. You have. Oh, you only have one sword face. To be fair. Uh, I don't really want to sacrifice you here, but you're burning down that camp. Do I actually wait? Do I care if that camp burns down? Don't know if I care, actually. What else is it really going to do for us? Yeah, we actually should just let that happen. Well, I don't want to let it happen, but it's more just that we can um, we can wait a hair. Oh, God, fine. Thank you for your service making the baby. Goodbye. Hope you lived. Okay. All right, the knowledge. We do want the knowledge thing. We also... This is the sacrifice one? Yep. Uh, we do want the mausoleum. So we're going to need... Basically, just in general, we need lots of stone. Maybe we should keep that sword. You know what? All right. Go, go, go. Oh. Huh. So it has to be that guy. No, he preps a sacrifice. <laughs> All right. Um, we want more food. To be honest, I'm surprised that there's almost, uh, like, I'm almost kind of shocked there's not a, um, turn person into food tile, like, with this, uh, this setup we've got going on right now. Okay, we're locking those. We're going to sacrifice those. You sacrifice inside the void well. GG. Um, we need food, though. Oh, we've used all of that. Logically, we would want to explore up further. 
Yeah, what kind of resources are we even getting, really? Knowledge extractor. Sounds very, um, normal and adjusted. This is the mill. You know, let's just find a way to eat people, right? Let's just... <laughs> this is this is basically the degenerate uh, DLC, and I'm very excited by it. <laughs> this is like, hey, you can play a little wild if you wanna. You can be a little bit of a of a piece of trash. Go ahead. Actually, take that back. Put that. We need we get any more stone. More stone. Could lock the sword. Build. Yep. Build build the knowledge extractor, please. Would you kindly build the knowledge extractor for me? Don't question. No, it's normal. You'll like it. You'll you'll love it. <laughs> Sword. Nope. Give me the sacrifice, please. Oh, you son of a gun. Alright, I will take this though. Go for a little bit more stone. Do we really have no other mines? There you go. Please build the knowledge extractor. Okay. Get ready. Sacrifice onto the gods. What do we get? Let's see. Let's see what happens. Let's try and. What did I get? I feel like I got like lots of, lots of wood. Uh, all right. Just go there again. More, more, more. And now we can convert more people into cultists. Things are gonna get theoretically kind of sketchy when you know. The cultists are going to be the ones sacrificing themselves. They're probably going to like it a little bit less when they do that. But hey, what can I say? Winter Falls? Irrelevant to me at this point. But uh, holy moly. Yeah, there's a... At the start of every season, madness drops by a small amount for every non-cultist district. All newly obtained die have one extra power to this. Oh, that's actually kind of good. All newly obtained die. That includes the cultist die. Who cares about winter? Alright. Here's the thing. We're gonna need to, um... We're gonna need to heal you. It's the equivalent of, like, fattening up a cow, I guess. But we are gonna be moving on here. Okay. Lock that. One of your die faces has two or more power. We got, but yes, yeah, it's true. We we got an empowered die. It's got probably like three, for all I'm aware. Where's the baby? Look at look at him. Look at that new baby. He's very strong. We are gonna sacrifice him, eventually. But hey, you know. All right. Well, last though, I think that that's probably gonna be where we call it here. Uh, I do want to see what is this knowledge extractor business about. Okay, it just takes takes a minute and a half normal speed. And it uh, how much knowledge points does it give us? And it doesn't require any book. And they have been corrupted, which I forget what that means. What well, they have one or more of their faces replaced with corrupt faces if three or more are rolled. Uh, the corruption will spread to another die. A die can have more than one corrupted face. It can be healed at the temple. But if we roll... Here's the thing. Um, void well. I love it. Um, if we roll four of these symbols, we automatically heal corrupted dice. So, that's actually very interesting, you know? We could just keep on rolling until theoretically it's done you know we just make a whole bunch of uh of extra cultists 
We can keep that going in that kind of a way. There is the offering stone sacrifices dice to increase the happiness of all other dice classes. Who needs that? Actually, that kind of, uh, oh man, that sort of plays into the whole, like, have only two two peasants, and they're literally, they literally just exist to create new cultists. That kind of supports that gameplay loop a little bit, uh, now that I think about it. Sacrifices a die to transfer a face to all corrupted faces of another die. That's actually really interesting. So, oh wow, that's actually really cool. For example, this corrupted face right here, this this sword. Uh, if we sacrifice, if we put like, I don't know. Oh, it's double interesting because, okay, this is a better example. If we put this one on there and we wanted to heal this corrupted die and we could replace it with a, a sacrificial one, like the little dagger. So we could literally turn a peasant into a cultist without fully converting them, too. There's a lot of interesting stuff that uh, is unlocked by this uh, this new setup here. Very, very interesting. Very neat. Uh, but alas, that is going to be where we call it here for today for Dice Legacy and the Corrupted Face DLC. I don't know if we'll play more or not. I, I do really like it, and I think this game is fantastic. The game DL or the DLC should be out today. So, uh, whoops, what the heck? There we go. Uh, the DLC should be out today. Yeah, at the time of this video going out. If not, there'll be a link in the top description. You can check. It'll say when it's going to be coming out. Uh, but I love this game. The DLC seems very, very solid, very fun. Adds a whole new meme fun, different play style to the game. Uh, there's been a bunch of updates that add, like, the completely different modes. Uh, there's the quality of life features of the pause, active pause that you can turn off and on. Everything like that. I know that was a big turn off for some. And there's the completely different ways to play here. Meet the demands of your people and gain their trust or risk being overthrown. We have to, like, go through and meet actual challenges throughout playing. Uh, and this, I, I'm not entirely sure. You are, your city is under siege. I think this is just kind of like the reverse effect. Uh, where we're, we're, maybe we're playing as the bad? I'm not entirely sure. I mean, we kind of already are, let's be honest. But alas, for real, for real alas... Thank you everybody for watching. This has been Dice Legacy. My name is Rush Major, covering the games every single day with an extra specialty, typically in roguelikes and roguelites, and a double extra specialty in dice-based <laughs> roguelikes and roguelites. I enjoy them so, so much. So, hey, if you never want to miss a good one, check out this channel. It needs more every single day, and I'll see you next time. Bye!